Listen, I want you all to be careful of seduction in this season. Now, when people think of seduction, a lot of times they think of being seduced by somebody sexually, by their physical attraction. Now, this is one of the biggest and the most obvious forms of seduction. But understand, seduction could be any plot, any plan, any scheme, any distraction, anything that the enemy uses to lure you and try to pull you a different direction. Anything that the enemy tries to use to pull your mind and your thoughts off of God and onto something else, which eventually causes you to compromise the standard of God. Are y'all with me? The enemy's intention is to divide your mind against the mind of Christ. He wants to give you divided counsel. He wants to create a separation between you and God. All right, this is seduction. Now, the Bible says in Mark chapter four, whatever measure of thought and study you give to the truth that you hear will be the virtue of knowledge that you receive. Whatever measure of thought and study you give to the truth that you hear. So what kind of truth are you giving your ear to this season? What kind of counsel are you giving your ear to this season? Is it the truth of God or is it a different kind of twisted and perverted truth? Is it, is it a compromised truth? Because even if it's compromised truth, eventually you're going to believe that it's the truth and that's what you will receive. Amen. So I also wanted to say, be careful, guard your eye gates and your ear gates in this season. Guard your eye gates and your ear gates in this season because your ear gates are what? The portal to your soul. Whatever you give your ear gates to, whatever you are watching, whatever you are looking at, you're going to open up a portal and a door to your soul and you might invite something in that you do not want there. And your ear gates are what? Your ear gates are the portals to your belief system. So whatever you're allowing to speak into your life is going to infiltrate your belief system. The enemy always wants to infiltrate your belief system so that he can give you what? He can give you divided counsel because divided counsel is going to create a separation between you and God. And it's going to divide your mind against the mind of Christ. Again, it's seduction. It's trying to lure you in a way that will eventually cause you to compromise the standard of God without you really fully being aware of what he's doing. So that's why you need to strengthen your discernment. Pray to God to help you to identify, right? Because the enemy's intention is to trick you out of your position right before God elevates you. He wants to trick you out of your position so that you either miss your moment or so that you're not ready for your moment. So when your moment comes, you end up looking crazy because you're not ready. All right. So uh, pray to God to strengthen your discernment, be spiritually vigilant and be aware and ask God to help you to identify the hidden manipulations, the hidden deceptions that try to come in disguise or the things that the enemy sends your way to try to blindside you or try to distract you. Because a lot of times if you're not sharp in the spirit, if you don't have a strong prayer life, if you're not uh, reading your word enough, your discernment's not going to be strong enough to be able to identify the attack. And then you're going to notice the attack when you've already been seduced by the attack or by the trap. And now you got to work on fasting and praying and getting out of the trap because you've already been seduced and lured. Amen. I love y'all. Listen, be careful of seduction in this season. Anything, anything that will distract you and cause you to compromise the standard of God, anything that will divide, uh, give you divided counsel, get it out of your life and do not give your attention to it in this season.